After witnessing the production of camera lenses in Japan, I grasped why Musk referred to Japan as the birthplace of optical equipment. A camera lens must control errors within one ten thousandth of a millimeter, which is as challenging as making a chip. If it was released decades ago, this video would definitely be a national secret. Here are the world's top 10 lens factories. The first step in making a lens is to design the model through 3D modeling. Then put the glass in a grinding machine for 10 minutes. 5 minutes of film removal. This step can make the edge of the glass more rounded. Let's take a look at the comparison picture below. The left side is the finished product after processing. Next, it enters precision processing, which is a core secret of the manufacturer. Don't look at this disc. It can be ground with a precision of one ten thousandth of a millimeter. You can imagine how difficult it is. Then put the lens in the storage rack and check the height error of each piece. Prepare for overall polishing. The worker first turns the lens upside down on the adding water to the furniture grinding process can make the grinding finer and easier. After a while, each lens can be removed and wiped clean. The lens is considered the most important part of the camera, so the inspection is extremely strict. Workers need to rely on machines to observe the surface, which is more delicate than a hair. Then we will adjust the inclination and process the optical axis at the center point. You may not be able to see it clearly because there is a cover. Anyway, two grinding stones and lenses are grinding back and forth, and then a certain inclination will be ground out. It is not difficult to find that it takes a lot of effort to make a piece of glass. Next, we will enter the manual inspection step. Workers need to check whether there are scratches and defects on the surface with the help of optical instruments and naked eyes. It is said that the salary of this position is the work is particularly demanding on the eyes compared to other jobs. Workers must use eye drops in their free time. This glass rope can support a luxury car. So, the workers are very careful when moving, and they walk very slowly. The temperature of the coating in the picture can make the compound adhere to the lens to prevent reflection. A mysterious liquid is dripped into the lens to correct the color difference using concave convex lens and convex mirror. The coating just now is I won't show you the core secrets. If you want to know the core secrets, you can read my previous articles on the eyeglass manufacturing process. I detailed the high temperature coating heating and began by applying black ink to the lens edge. This is also to suppress light reflections and prevent reflections inside the lens. Now let's take a look at a more detailed comparison. Next, we assemble the single lens by buckling the plastic shell with the lens inside into the mold. Then, we put the lens on the plastic shell. After heating and fixing, the lens is fixed to the plastic shell along the thread seams. Next, we start cutting the lens internal parts. This thing is a piece of metal, and this piece of metal is called magnesium. It is really unexpected. In a blink of an eye, the metal is cut. The worker needs to buckle this very tight material. It seems that I have to eat two more bowls of lunch. Fortunately, you can eat three meals a day in the factory hall. First, buckle the ring metal on the mold, and the machine will spray paint the inside without dead angles. Another part is made, and then prepare to spray paint the next part. It is also three-proof paint, anti-rust, waterproof and anti-fouling. In fact, if you want to test the craftsmanship, I dare say that the following links are the most difficult. Can you believe that the numbers on the plastic ring are actually written by him? And it is more strange than the printed ones. It is not surprising that a lens costs at least several thousand and at most tens of thousands. It turns out that this the money spent here. The worker holds the conical metal and puts it on the mold. Then the laser engraving is used to process the surface without dead angles. In a blink of an eye, a row of words appears on the surface. Then hundreds of circuit boards are transferred to the machine and pushed into the machine by an automated program. This step is mainly if the electronic unit at each position is welded on the circuit board. This piece of material is the sensor device of the camera and lens. A circuit board can be divided into four parts. The following will be the stamping of metal parts. The raw material is a metal plate. Stamping one takes three seconds. The speed seems slow, but luckily, the qualified rate is high and there are no defects. Now we start to make the lens. The raw material of the device used to raise and lower the lens is also metal. In the box, the machine will cut four groups at the same time. It only takes three minutes, one after another. After the ring lens is made, 
it is cleaned with a brush and briefly rinsed in liquid. At this time, the lens tube has a diffused luster and the edge is extremely delicate. Then, the lens tubes are evenly placed on the metal rack according to the spacing. After that, the workers operate and transport them to the pool to prepare for the level oxidation. Level oxidation is to use chemical treatment to add a layer of protective film to the metal surface. This layer of protective film can protect the metal to a great extent and avoid the generation of the rust and corrosion phenomenon as shown below. We then move to the final assembly workshop. This stage is highly strict, requiring all workers to wear dustproof clothing. Additionally, dust must be kept out of the lens during installation. First, put the metal gasket into the lens barrel, then put in the small ring lens and use an electric screwdriver to tighten it. After all the positions are tightened and checked, the external lens barrel can be connected to the internal lens barrel. Use an electric screwdriver to reinforce the edge again. Manually rotate it to test to avoid jamming. Then rotate the outermost ring adjustment accessory left and right to check it. Next, install the lens data transmission circuit board. Only by assembling this accessory can the camera better adjust the lens focal length. Then buckle the top metal ring on it and rotate it to the preset fixed position. Then put the secondary tightening ring on the fixed point and tighten the four screws uniformly with an electric wrench. Install the outer lens accessories by placing three ring-shaped metal gaskets. The material is very soft. Avoid misalignment during pressing. After rough formation, reinforce the outside with small screws. At this point, the general shape of the lens has been formed. Then buckle the outermost glass cover on it. This layer of glass mainly plays a role in dust prevention, so the light transmittance as the tool is used to completely fasten the external clamp to the top. Then the dust cover is installed on both sides. The lens is manually rotated to see if it can be adjusted normally. At this point, a lens is considered to be formed, but it seems that the next process is more important. The worker holds the camera and takes pictures of the wall. This step is to check whether the lens image is normal and whether the numbers on the photo can be fully displayed. If the light source is uneven, it can only be disassembled and re-inspected. Every lens needs to be checked. Defective products must not be allowed to flow into the market. Fishing for three years will ruin your life. Motorbikes are a pit. Photography should not be touched. Once you learn to chase rabbits, you will embark on a road of no return. Why do so many people buy this? How is it similar to fishing?